What's up guys, this is Marcus from Studio One Expert, and today I wanna to have a look at a really, really handy trick to use when you're collaborating with other people on a Studio One project and you don't share the same plugins. So let's have a really quick look at the session here. Uh, I've got just a guitar loop and a drum loop. Um, let's do some processing here on this drum loop, and I'm gonna do it on the actual track as opposed to an event process. So I'm gonna pull up the Sonics Inflator here. Where is it? right over here. Let's grab this and throw it on this track. And let's see if we can get an adjustment made to these drums here. I'm gonna pull this down a bit. Let's push this way up. Okay. So there's the original. Okay, so there's quite a difference there with this particular setting. Now, let's say that we wanna collaborate on this session and you just wanna have this as kind of a work in progress thing, but you'd like to have the ability to unwind it. You don't necessarily wanna bounce and commit this. And let's say that you also don't just want to send this person uh, a stereo print of your track and just keep bouncing back things endlessly. Let's just say that we're collaborating with this particular session over Dropbox or manually sending it to each other. So one of the workflows that we have here is if you have a plugin on any of the tracks that you're working with and you want to retain all the settings, we've got something that's similar to a track freeze. Now this is not to be confused with event effects. Event effects are effects or plugins that are applied to specific events, but I want this to be applied to the entire track. So let's right click this right over here and let's transform this to rendered audio. So let's look, we've got a couple different important options here. Preserve real-time state. Support retransformation to audio track with insert effects. I'm gonna leave this enabled here. Audio tail, maximum length, 30 seconds. We're not gonna need that because we're not doing anything like a reverb or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna deselect that. But if I was using a reverb or a delay, I would make sure that I have that set up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And now you'll see that I don't have a plugin anymore on this channel. And I could send this session to another person and they would get my audio and we have that effect rendered into the track. Now, let's say that they wanted to go ahead and do some more recording and they wanted to add some more tracks so they could add another track of something and they wanted to record some you know, piano or some guitars or something like that on top of that. So they could go ahead and they could add their tracks and then when they're done with that, if we were collaborating on this project and I wanted to bring their session back in, I could simply go back to my track here. If I wanted to make some adjustments to the track, I could simply transform it back to real-time audio. Now it's transformed it back to real-time audio and it's pulled up the plugin again. And I can continue to make some adjustments or tweak this plugin from here. Super handy feature to use and it's great for when you're collaborating with people that don't have the same third-party plugins that you're running. Anyways, I hope you guys got something from this and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.